In this video, the goal is to find the measure of a missing angle inside of a triangle. That is, we have the problem in the diagram below. Triangle ABD is isosceles with AD equal to BD. And now we have if the measure of angle DAB equals 50 degrees and the measure of angle BDC equals 20 degrees, what is the measure of angle C? So if we star over here, the goal is to find the measure of this angle. So now we go back to the beginning of the problem, and we could assume that triangle ABD is isosceles, and we could also assume that AD is equal to BD. So with problems like this, you definitely want to make tick marks just to give you a reference of what information you could use. That is, because we know these two sides are the same in this isosceles triangle, using the isosceles triangle theorem, we could say that the angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. That is... Since angle DAB is 50 degrees, we could also say that the measure of angle ABD is 50 degrees. So we could label this 50 degrees. And if we want to be formal, we say the measure of angle ABD equals 50 degrees. So now what this information tells us, it doesn't bring us the exact measure of angle C, but now we could start targeting the other missing angles in the problem. That is, notice we have two other unknown angles in the problem. We have angle ADB and we have angle DBC. But now the angle we're interested in is right here. That is, we want to find the measure of angle DBC first. And now what we can use, we know that the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. So since angle ABD and angle DBC form a straight line, we know that 50 degrees plus the measure of angle DBC, which is highlighted right here, we know that the sum of those two angles together has to equal 180 degrees because those two angles together form a linear pair. That is, they form a straight line. So now to solve for the measure of angle DBC, we just subtract 50 degrees from both sides of this equation. So now we look at the left-hand side. 50 degrees minus 50 degrees will cancel. And we have the measure of angle DBC equals 130 degrees, which is the result of 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. So we could label in here, we have that this angle is 130 degrees. So now to find the measure of angle C, we need to use the theorem which states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, so far in triangle DBC, we have the measure of two angles. We have 20 degrees, so we could write out we have 20 degrees plus 130 degrees plus the measure of angle C has to equal 180 degrees. Once again, this is true because of the theorem which states that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So now we could simplify this equation. 20 degrees plus 130 degrees is 150 degrees. So we have 150 degrees plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. And now the last step for solving for the measure of angle C, we're just going to subtract 150 degrees from both sides of this equation. So now the left side, 150 degrees minus 150 degrees will cancel. And we have the measure of angle C equals now 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is 30 degrees. So the measure of our missing angle and the answer to our problem, we have the measure of this angle is 30 degrees.
Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on finding the value of an unknown angle. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.